Well, let's try this again. What's up, everybody? Okay. Start from scratch. <laughs> Got my jacks out. On well, my jack stands. Got my jack out. Okay, what I want to do is try to, um, I need to chalk up the back tires. What I want to do is try to, um, make sure it don't roll. I need to get it up, get my stands under there so I can pull the tires off. But I wanted to kind of, um, let you know what I was doing so if I forget, you know, you'll be able to understand. But I got, I need to get the, um, the plastic fender wheels out of there so that I get to the headlights. And it'll give me a whole lot of room to use my arm. Um... Okay, uh, <laughs> battery died as soon as I got started. I should have checked it, I wasn't thinking. But I was gonna set y'all down. Hopefully y'all can see something while I open this box up. This much trouble. Oh, I see. Hey, guys, y'all. All of the um, cardboard that ain't good right there. You can see one of the legs. <laughs> When them come apart, you gotta see that. So I'm gonna try to fix this. See it a clip here, so that's good. Didn't lose that at least. Right here, just trying to fix that little clip. You know something? If I raise that, it should be a little bit easier. Okay, let's see here. Yep, that should be a lot easier. Okay, that's back on there. Um, I'm not sure where this handle go. Put it here. Works for me. That would work for me right there. Okay. Guess the next thing to do is see how it jack up. <laughs> we gotta get the BM up anyway. Being a, a two ton though, this should get it. Oh, right there. You see what I'm jacking on on both sides. Let's see if I can get you over here again, and y'all can see a little something. Right 
there. Okay, I think I'm gonna put something underneath my other wheel. Cause I only got one wheel up, blocked off. Okay, now we got two wheels blocked off. Huh. Also, while I'm in here, I'm gonna look at my brake pads and see. Once I move this out the way, I'll see where I put my jacket. So I gotta take the five lugs out, which I'm gonna use the air tools, and then I'll see where I can put my jack stand at. Hold tight, y'all. All right, y'all. Okay, I got a little problem, but we're gonna try to address it. All right, got all the lugs out. I'm thinking it's kind of um, sticking. So I'm going to spray a little penetrator on it. Hopefully that'll hip it. Really don't want to spray the back brakes, you know. So I kind of let that eat a little bit, but I may have to maybe hit the tire with a hammer or something. Get it unstuck. Yeah, wasn't expecting this to happen to me, but it's all good. It's all Gucci. We're gonna get it because I gotta get this off to get to the next piece. I may get me some more of these center caps, look so raggedy. I took it off because I want to see on the inside. That should be, should be getting in there some. That should help it out. <clears throat> kind of seemed like they didn't really take this good care of this because I um when I looked at that motor, I checked that motor. I might can show you. Hold up. It um right here. You can see right here on all of them. Cause I wanted to see what was wrong and why it went out like that. And yep, they ran it like that. I can't see if they ran it without oil in it. <clears throat> but yeah, they ran it like that, and that's what that's why that engine died. It fried it. Uh, you have to go back and look at one of my old videos while I was trying to check the motor to see if, what, what the problem was. And um, I tried to start it and the cam wouldn't spin over. That's the why. If the cam would have spin, it would have been something else, like timing chain or something. When the cam didn't mean it was, it had overheated and fried them. Um, I can't think of the name right now. But it, it was solid on there. I had to beat that off of there. Because I just, it's just for my own knowledge, I wanted to know what, what the deal was. And So I'm thinking they, they ran it. Either low on oil or with no oil, and it fried it. So if they did, did that there, if they did that with the motor, I'm kind of thinking they probably never ever took the wheels off. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that for a minute, and then, cause I'll probably just take my little sludge hammer, just kind of tap on it, you know, to kind of make it move, and hopefully it'll come off easy. 
So um, I'll probably do that off camera. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna hit the rim. I'm gonna hit the tire, just with my sledgehammer lightly, not nothing real heavy, just to try to make it move. Let's see. What we can see inside the fender wheel. All right, we can see. Got an eight millimeter up there. Fill a screw down here at the bottom. And a couple of screws been taken out already. Yeah, we got this. Fill it. <clears throat> On the other side, I took the tire out to make it easy. But you don't really have to. It's a little harder though. I'm gonna get that in a second. Let's see here. Let's get the one up here. Okay. One, one over here. It's basically the same thing on the other side. Okay, that's them two. Hey, hand me that small Phillip hanging on the wall. Then we better take this out and then we can go to the top and try getting those. But yeah, I'm missing a couple of screws somewhere. But I'm going to have to I'm thinking I'm going to go to the scrap yard and get those. That shouldn't cost me much to do those. Okay, so we get this loose. Alright, y'all see we can get off inside of it now? Now what we can do now also, since we're here, we can see if we can unplug this fog light. <sighs> You can squeeze them and then bring it and then work it down. Yeah. They did put these aftermarket lights that I saw here with these wires here. Which I'm I am planning to eliminate. Okay, I don't remember any um why I need to do in here. Uh, so this gets snapped into there. Okay. Let's unplug the uh, fog light on the other side, and then we work our way up top. Okay. Inside of here, fog light right here. That's that one. So that should get that way. Unhook this just in case. Um, I'm not seeing anything that I, I don't remember too much, but I think that should be good for there. And now we need to come up top. I tried to say these for last. I got all the ones at the bottom. And I already loosened all of these. Whoa. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take me some pictures of the different boats. So when I go to the scrap yard. I'm probably have to put y'all in the stand. And I'm gonna have to use two hands here in a second. So let me get you out and stand real quick. 